You know something? I learn nothing from Black History Month, if you care to call it that. I have never learned anything, um, except that George Washington Carver invented peanut butter, and that was in the second damn grade. And I am absolutely sick of every time February rolls around, everyone looking at a Confederate sympathist like I'm the effing Doctor Doom in the Fantastic Four book that is America. And, um, I'm absolutely sick of it. Now, here's the thing. If they want to call it Black History Month, that's fine. I don't think it means anything else than any other name. I mean, history's always history. It's not like you get to February and everybody's like, hey, remember slavery? That sucked. I don't really give a damn. Um, I'm not saying that I don't care about the history, but there's only so far you can go back. And I mean, yes, it's a history that's, you know, steep in struggle and overcoming hardship, but that's not what I'm hearing about. All I ever hear about is George Washington Carver, Martin Luther King Jr., who has his own day, Malcolm X, and lately, Michael Jackson. Uh, okay, when did Michael Jackson become black again? Last time I checked, he was... I don't know if it's a color. I, I always just call it freakish bleach. I should invent that color and put it in a crayon box. As you actually write with a crayon, it's just like a trip on acid. It changes colors, and at one point, the crayon runs off and tries to attack a child who's also trying to get a crayon into the box. That's another thing. Everyone's like, oh, Michael Jackson's a hero. He's such an amazing man. He raped children. Okay, I don't know about raped or what he did, but damn it, there's some pretty strong evidence to show that he exposed himself to children. And all of a sudden he dies, and it's like, oh, everyone loves Michael Jackson. I, I never get it. Okay, I love Thriller, but who doesn't? Th I've watched This Is It, and the noises that came out of that man's mouth sounded like two pterodactyls trying to knife fight each other. That was not human. If I had seen that and he had not died, I would have been like, wow, I bet he's about to die very soon because he sounds like he's making dying noises. I don't get it. I mean, I'm not... It's fine to have Black History Month. That's fine. But there's always all these special on TV like, this month it's especially important. Why? Why is it especially important this month? Um, I mean, it seems to me that overcoming, you know the Jim Crow laws and all that crap would be important every day. But this month we just remember that a black guy came up with peanut butter and several black people in history were shot for voicing their opinions. Uh, well, there's plenty of people that were, you know, freedomists, you know, people who approved freedom that were killed, but, you know, I just don't get why we should only do it in February. Um, this was an unplanned rant. I just kind of got up here. I don't even know if I'll keep the comments open because I know I'll get a lot of hate for this video. But um, this is just me voicing my opinion. It should matter every day, and yet in February we're just like, oh, la 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 la. Another thing about it is I'm not a big fan of the whole guilt trip they try to apply to people. Where this month it's like, yeah, you you, you should all feel guilty. Your ancestors did something terrible. I don't buy that. It's not our fault. We're a completely different generation. You know. I'm not going to deal with nasty glances just because a long time ago we used the word nigger a lot more freely. Because it's a word. The word does not come out of someone's mouth, get a chain, and beat someone. So that's all I have to say. Um, I'll probably get a lot of hate for this video like I already said, but uh, this is how I feel. And this is JTrain97 saying I'll see you soon, YouTube.